What's up guys, Brandon from NVIDIA back again. I've got some particularly exciting news for you. By now you probably know we recently launched a new line of GeForce RTX cards. But what's really amazing about them for people like me who love streaming is they've been built from the ground up to deliver a better experience for streamers, including better image quality, performance, OBS optimizations, and more. With a new hardware encoder that improves efficiency and gives you 50% better image quality at the exact same bit rate. Now let me show you step by step how it's done. First, download the new OBS, which has the new NVIDIA enhancements. Open OBS and go to Settings. Then set your output mode at the top to Advanced. Click the Encoder dropdown and select NVIDIA NVENC H.264 New. Make sure that the Enforced Streaming Service Encoder Settings option is turned off. This will allow us to configure the settings ourselves instead of just following the platform settings. Now, check that your rate control is set to CBR, Constant Bit Rate. This is the preferred setting for streaming sites like Twitch and YouTube. Next, we're going to determine and set your bitrate. Open a web browser and search Internet Speed Test, such as speedtest.net, and test your upload bandwidth. Then go back to OBS, and in the bitrate field, we recommend entering a bitrate number that is approximately 25% lower than your upload speed. This ensures a reliable stream during normal fluctuations. Take into account that most platforms have a maximum bitrate that will allow you to upload that you shouldn't exceed. You can consult the max bit rates according to your streaming platform in the links below. Now set your keyframe interval. Keyframes are the points in the video where the entire frame is sent instead of just the differences from the previous frame. This value is determined by the streaming platform you stream to. For Twitch and YouTube, the keyframe interval should be set to two per second. Then set your preset to max quality to obtain the best stream quality. If your stream overloads or you see stutters, you can change it to quality. Set your profile to high. This determines the H.264 settings that will be used and should always be set to high. For other settings, look ahead allows the encoder to choose when it needs to use a B-frame between zero and the value you enter of B-frames. This is useful for low motion content, but typically is better to leave it off for streaming. Leave the psycho filter on. This reduces artifacting and blocking. Lastly, set your B-frames to two. These frames greatly increase quality, but take up too much bandwidth. So you don't want to overdo them or your stream could look blocky. Our engineers have found that this combination of settings results in the optimal balance of quality and performance. Now we're going to determine your output resolution and frame rate, also known as FPS. First, select the Video tab. Then, verify that your base canvas resolution is set to match the resolution of the content that you're streaming. For example, if you're gaming at 1920 by 1080, this should be set to the same value. Depending on your bitrate, you'll need to optimize the output scale resolution, your stream resolution, and common FPS values, your frame rate. It is important that you use the correct settings for your bitrate. Trying to push a higher resolution with a low bitrate will result in very bad image quality. You can check the settings that Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook recommend for each bitrate level on these pages. As a rule of thumb, if your bitrate is below 3500, we recommend setting it to 720p, 30fps. If your bitrate is between 3500 and 5500, you can increase your frame rate to 720p, 60fps. If greater than 6000, then you can try 1080p, 60fps, or keep it at 900p 60fps for fast motion games. Just remember, as you make these adjustments, be sure to go back and check the output live stream for the best quality results. After you've set your resolution and FPS values, be sure that the downscale filter is at the length of 32 samples if your output resolution is different from your base resolution. This will avoid blurriness from scaling. If you're playing at 4K and experience stutters in the stream, reducing this setting to 16 samples may help stabilize performance. Finally, check your advanced settings. Select the advanced tab. This tab can normally be left untouched, but we'll cover it so you know it's here. At the top of the window, set the process priority to normal. This ensures that OBS does not unduly interfere with your game performance. Next, under the video section, we recommend setting color format to NV12. The YUV color space and YUV color range can be left untouched at 601 and partial. Now we're done with the settings and it's time to test our stream. Make sure that you have a scene created with a game capture source and launch your game. The game should be shown in the OBS preview window. Next, check your FPS. You'll want to make sure that you're rendering at frames higher than your live stream. You can check your FPS using GeForce Experience. Hit Alt-Z, click on the cog wheel for settings, click on HUD layout, and select FPS counter. Pick the corner where you wish to show your FPS. Now you're set. In just a few minutes of setup, your stream is now running faster and smoother than ever before. If you're interested in streaming, Go out and pick up a new RTX GPU and download the updated OBS to unlock the best stream quality and top gaming performance. Thanks for watching our tutorial and happy streaming.